Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie. And today we are going to go hit up the Goodwill outlet, aka the bins here in Houston. It is where you buy thrift by the pound. I honestly have not been in quite a while. So I'm just having the urge to go thrifting to find some fun things for myself as well as to resell online on apps like Poshmark. I am going to bring you all along with me. It's going to be a true thrift with me. I have my selfie stick with me so that way I can put it in my cart and show you all how I dig through the bins and what all we find. Now let's go thrifting. All right, we just pulled up to the bins. I am getting together my backpack with all my essentials for the bins. I have a protein bar for when I get hungry, some hand sanitizers in here and chopstick, just basic purse things. But I also have a hair clip because I will definitely get hot and sweaty, a water bottle to stay hydrated. And this little backpack is just super perfect to throw my phone and keys inside of so I don't lose important things when I'm digging in the bins. I did order the Lululemon fanny pack two weeks ago so I could join the belt bag gang hasn't come in yet. My friend ordered it at the exact same time when everything came back in stock and she got hers two days later. Mine hasn't even started tracking yet. So hopefully it'll get here soon. But for now, this cute little backpack will do. And I also have my cart and Ikea bag, which I just threw outside my door and we'll see them in just a second. Now for the fun part of showing y'all what all I picked up after spending several hours at the bins and just over $60, I found quite a few gems. First off, these super cool over the knee leather boots. These are by Sam Edelman. They are a size 11 and they are in near perfect condition. I am so surprised I was able to snag them and nobody beat me to them. They are just 
oh, amazing. I love selling Sam Edelman boots. I've sold several pairs of their riding boots and I feel like these over the knee boots will do even better because they are just so hot at the moment. One of my favorite just bread and butter kind of brands to resell is Everlane. Specifically, their jeans sell really well. These are their cropped straight style. They are a size zero and they're in great condition. I sometimes hesitate to pick up pieces that are sized a zero, but I have sold really small double zero Everlane brand jeans before. So I didn't really hesitate to pick these up, especially given that they are in great condition and a really trendy style. Another really cool pair of jeans are these Gap wide leg jeans. Like how freaking cool are these? I think I show them off even better when I'm at the outlets. I pulled them out of the bins and I thought that they might be my size, but they aren't. Sadly, I do wish that I could wear them because they are so cool. They are a size 29 and they are the Sky Rise style. I really don't pick up Gap much to resell, but I think these will do well because they are just so cool. I'll probably list these on a story sale or something like that because I don't feel like Gap will sell that well on Poshmark because it's not a super searched niche brand. This is a bread and butter kind of piece. I likely will take it to a buy sell trade store. It is a Madewell silk blouse. It is a size small. It has fun little ruffle sleeves and a button front, just in perfect condition. I feel like Madewell and silk, I can't pass it up. Really excited to see this tag at the outlets. That is Tory Burch, a little ribbed orange cardigan, perfect for fall. Now, there is a small flaw. On one of the cuffs, there are some little holes. I don't know if it's a moth or what, but I still think it'll sell really well because Tory Burch is so expensive new. But fun fact, you can sell Tory Burch buttons for like $25 if you have the whole set of them. So if I'm struggling to sell this with flaws, I will just list the buttons and it'll sell pretty well. Now I do think that this will sell with the flaws because it's not anything major, but if you ever find a piece that's really messed up but the buttons are in good condition, get it for the buttons. This is just a funky piece to add to my personal closet. I feel like I can't walk away from the bins without getting a funky thing for myself. This is just a comfy t-shirt to wear, kind of like I'm wearing now, post bins, comfy gear. Uh, it just says together, y'all. It's from Airy. it's super soft. I feel like it'll just be really nice to throw on with a flannel or whatever this fall. Another piece for my personal closet is this camel color ribbed turtleneck. I just envision styling this so many ways. First off with like black jeans, maybe with some overalls over or a flannel on top, just so many ways to style it. I feel like I'll get so much use out of it this fall. I love finding this brand at the bins. Gymshark, here's the side tag. Just a great piece to resell myself for, you know, 25 ish or take into buy sell trades and it'll sell in like one second. Just a little cropped workout top. It is a size small. Another piece of athletic wear. I was really surprised to find this brand at the outlets. This is the brand Beyond Yoga. They have super high quality yoga gear, kind of like Lulu or Aloe. And these are a size extra small, full length, high rise, perfect condition. So excited to get these listed. They are so freaking soft. I wish that they were my size. All right, this is a really funky piece and I'm here for it. I just think this is so fun to wear in the fall a little horse fleece button-up jacket. Like how cool is this? Just the funkiest vintage piece. It does 
smell kind of like an antique store. You know how like a lot of vintage just has that smell. I do need to kind of cover it in baking soda and throw it in the wash to get that smell out. But I think I'm gonna be listing this myself because how cool is it? If it doesn't sell, I definitely will take it to a buy sell trade store because I know that'll sell there. That is just too fun. Now I found all of this in one pile and it's a bunch of just really quality older woman attire. So first off we have this Ellen Tracy cashmere turtleneck, perfect for layering in the fall. It is a size 1X. Then we have this Eileen Fisher. I think it's alpaca wool or what is it? Yak wool, it's yak wool. It is yak and wool. So it's not yak wool, I guess yak has a different brand. Anyway, it is a yak and wool blend sweater, petite large. And then I also found these Eileen Fisher petite large organic linen pants. Perfect condition. Another Eileen Fisher piece. These Eileen Fisher petite large white pants. Also great condition. You see the trend? <laughs> and then lastly, this J. Jill extra large 100% linen striped dress. It is in near perfect condition. There is a small stain on the back, but I do think it will come out with some OxyClean. I hope that it was just something that kind of got on it at the bins, so it'll be easy to wash out on my end. But with all of this stuff, I'm planning to take it to an older woman's consignment shop. I do know that, you know, Eileen Fisher will sell on Poshmark, but for me, it does tend to just sit for a while. It doesn't move really quick like trendy pieces. So I have found a local consignment store, the Guild Shop. They take tons of these brands and they sell really well there. So I'm definitely going to take these there. Um, another place you can send them is ThreadUp. I do think that ThreadUp pays pretty well for Eileen based on other YouTube videos that I've watched. But pretty good finds and even if I was to list them myself like I think that they would sell pretty well too so fun thing once you see one good item at the bins it's always best to just kind of keep looking because all of those donations might have ended up in the same bin like this now this bag I picked up as I was walking out of the store just the cutest western bucket bag with leather braided straps. I think this is just so fun. I will definitely list it in a story sale and if it doesn't sell there, it'll be a piece that I take to a buy sell trade store because this is very anthropology vibes. I was looking at anthropology's bags recently and they've got a lot of Western inspiration recently with the straps and the bag design as a whole. So that piece is very on trend. Another piece for buy, sell, trade stores I love picking up are funky belts. So this is a Brighton belt. It is a size extra small, small, and I definitely will be taking it into a buy, sell, trade store because it's just so funky. I think that they'll snag it right up. All right, we're getting into a lot of buy, sell, trade store stuff before I get back to a couple resale items. This is a really fun, tie-dye, fairy-like style dress with an embroidered tie front top. It is one of those pieces that just says free size, but we all know that that's not true. It typically fits up to, I wanna say an extra large, but again, the size doesn't matter quite as much because I'm taking it to a buy sell trade store where somebody can actually try it on. Then we have another really cute dress for fall. This is a long sleeve deep V dress from Urban Outfitters. It is a size small and it's in really great condition. I think that I'll probably sell it myself and if it doesn't sell I'll take it in to a buy sell trade store before the colder months are over. Adore. <laughs> I absolutely adore this piece. I actually found a really similar Zara dress last year in blue. So I think this is just the pink colorway, 
but I love this pattern so much. It's very 70s inspired and bold and funky and just right up my alley. It is a size small. I definitely will be selling this myself. Zara pieces don't tend to sell for a crazy amount, but they do tend to sell for me, so why not list it? All right, I love quilted jackets and I'm so glad fall is back so I can start picking them up again. This piece looks kind of similar to Love Shack Fancy, but it's just Universal Threads. Universal Threads gets me every time, but honestly, their stuff's kind of expensive in the store. So I'll probably list it in a story sale for a really reasonable lower price. And if it doesn't sell, definitely take it into a buy sell trade store because they don't care if something's from Universal Threads. They just want cute stuff on their racks. And this is definitely cute. Potentially a piece for myself. I have been trying to build a capsule wardrobe. So having, you know, just go-to basics. And one of the things that I'm lacking is a black or dark mini skirt. So this is more of a charcoal gray. It's by Betsy Johnson, but it just feels so nice and comfy. It has a lot of stretch and just looks very elegant and sleek. So I'm hoping it fits, but if it doesn't, I do think I'll take it into a buy sell trade store because selling basics like this online is sometimes kind of hard because this just doesn't look that fun, you know, hanging on a hanger, like a fun piece like this, you know? So probably a buy sell trade store piece. Same with this skirt. The reason I picked it up is because it is brand new with tags. American Eagle tends to sell pretty well at buy sell trade stores and corduroy it has just been in the last few years. I feel like it's continued to be in. So I'm hoping that's the case and big reason why I picked this up. Same with this little granny core corset top. This is just from Shein, I think. It's one of those pieces that just has the size tag, no brand, and usually that's Shein or Fashion Nova or some other really fast fashion brand. But since it's trendy and pretty lightweight, I picked it up to take it to a buy sell trade store. These are obviously a little bit out of season given that we are heading into fall and winter, but hear me out. This fun shimmer would be really cool on New Year's Eve. So I might just go ahead and list them. Also people do till, people do still buy shorts in the winter months, or I might just send them to ThreadUp. I do have a box that is looming to be sent to ThreadUp because we are about to move soon. So I'm trying to clear out. I know ThreadUp is not my favorite place to purge inventory, but I have, you know, kind of been accumulating brands that do seem to sell well on there and Show Me Your Moo does seem to be one of those brands. A couple more buy sell trade store pieces. Little slip dresses do so well for me. This is such a fun fairy like one. I love the asymmetrical layers. And then this one, I might have to list it in a story sale because it is just too cool. It's a size medium, just in case you want to snag it before I take it to a buy sell trade store. It has all of these little fruit pieces on it. It's so cool, like just so fun. It is polyester, not silk. So it doesn't have as high of a resale value as like a vintage silk slip would, but still too funky to pass up. All right, we have one more buy sell trade store piece. This little crochet cardi, I think this is just so fun. I had to snag it. It's from Cotton On, not a crazy brand, but how cute is it? So freaking cute, I had to get it. Now, this is really fun. A halter maxi length dress. Really cool, really Y2K, very elegant and just timeless. It is the brand Country Road, which seems to have pretty good comparison pricing on sold listings on Poshmark. It looked like 40 to $50. So I felt pretty confident picking this piece up. It's just beautiful. I also have not tried it on myself 
if it fits well, it definitely could be one of those capsule wardrobe pieces or a piece that I list on a story sale so that way I can like really fully model it and show all of its, you know, body and shape off. So we'll see, but this dress just has so much potential. A real fun fall piece. I think these are still very in. I know they are a little bit basic, but a plaid jacket is definitely a closet staple. And this one is new with tags. It does just seem to be from a random boutique. It's no, you know, boutique brand in particular. It just says camisa, which means shirt. So <laughs> definitely very basic, but it's a size extra large brand new, so I think it'll sell really well in a story sale on Instagram. And then the last piece that was so fun, a shiny trench coat. I just think this is the coolest piece and it is such a funny name. Fa da never heard of it. Honestly, had decent comparison pricing, so feel pretty good about picking it up. And it's in pretty great condition. It's polyester, it has that fun sheen to it, and it's just such a Pinterest girl, capsule wardrobe, trench, oh, it's so cool. I tried it on at the outlets. I haven't tried it on again yet since being home. I do need to try it on, but I do feel like I'll end up listing it. It is a size large and I really wanna make sure that in the future, I'm always keeping items that just fit me well and not you know, excessively oversized or anything like that. So I likely will end up listing this on Poshmark or in a story sale. But as with any piece in this haul, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, if you're interested in purchasing any items and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Curated by Natalie so you can stay up to date on future story sales as well as Poshmark listings. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube videos. I look forward to having you back here soon. Thanks for tuning in today. Bye.